Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Jian Peng, your instructor for PH 106. In today's video, I would like to show you how to perform Lab 2 using the online simulation tool. Okay, here I'm showing the lab menu you just downloaded from the web page, and you can see the simulation link. To go to the web page, press the control key of your keyboard and then click on that one. Then it's going to show the web page. And on this particular web page, <coughs> you see the run now button. And press this button, it will start the simulation. Keep in mind that the simulation is based on a software package called Java. Uh, if you don't have the software, that means the Java package, the website probably will prompt you to install it. Uh, please follow those instructions. I have installed Java on my machine, so when I click this one, it will download the package, start Java, and then start the simulation. And here you can see the simulation for this particular lab. It's going to simulate the motion of this particular man in the middle. There are two charts, uh, two tabs, one called introduction and the other one says charts. Please use the introduction first and have your own estimation or your own <coughs> idea about how the motion graph should look like. And then compare your own with the charts that's going to be shown and that way you'll have a better understanding. I am going to run through a few scenarios uh, particularly the first one, and show you how this is done. Okay, let me read the scenario one in the lab menu. The, the scenario one says, the man starts at the tree and moves toward the house with constant velocity of one meter per, sec per second. Uh, so what I want you to do is first uh, sketch how it would look like by doing it using the drawing tools in uh, Microsoft Word. So to go to there, go to the uh, drawing tool. I am using uh, Microsoft Office 2010. So for that particular, I believe it is under So to insert uh, to draw your understanding of the graph, go to the uh, ribbon and look under Insert. Then there's shapes, and you can find all kinds of lines. Say, I assume it's going to be a random line, and you can draw whatever the way you want to draw it. So I'm going to use the scribble tool right here. And I think the position graph, since it starts from negative to the positive, so it's going to look something like this and you can change it to a different color say I'm going to choose uh, well you can play with it and find out the correct color for so this is my drawing for the uh, what I expect going to see now you can and I since it's constant velocity I would also think the velocity here so find again find the scribble tool since it's constant, it's going to be one meter per second during all this process. So I think it's going to be a constant line here. And it's very close to one meter per second. And again, I'm going to use the blue color to show that is my guess. Acceleration. Since it's a constant velocity, it shouldn't have any acceleration. So I'm going to use a straight line here. And I'm going to draw it just on here. And I'm going to change its color. And like I just explained, because there's no acceleration, it should be uh, zero line, straight line, like that. So those are our, uh, is my guess. Now let's verify it with the simulation tool. So go back to the moving man. This is my previous one. Let me kill this one. And this is my current one. So the man, again, is from the tree. Tree is at negative 8 meters, and house is at positive 8 meters. So he's going to move in the positive direction. 
So the way you can move them around is just to either enter the numbers directly or use the sliding bar. So I am going to put just put the number directly. So starting from negative 80 meters, velocity going to be 1 meter per second, and there's no acceleration. And I would like to show the velocity vector, which is shown right there. Now clear it. Now when you start to play it, it's going to show you the simulation process. And I'm going to record this process. As you can see now, while it's being recorded, the man is moving forward. Now he's at zero meter position. He's getting closer to the house. And after the house, if he does not stop, he'll run into the wall. You just heard. So I just played you the whole process of a man walking with a constant velocity. And to show the charts, the velocity chart, position chart, and acceleration chart, you go back to the charts. So to show the previous scenario again, again, start from the initial position. And the initial position should be negative 8 meters. So enter negative 8 meters. The velocity is 1 meter per second, 1 meter per second. And then we want to show vector again just like before and acceleration is zero now if you play again this time again ch clear and record again now this time is showing the graph now this blue line here is position the red line here is the velocity and the green line here is the acceleration well every line is just as what we have ex predicted so until it hits 8. Okay, I just paused, stopped, and you can see. Uh, if you cannot see a line clearly, you have the zoom in, zoom out button right here. So I am going to zoom in the velocity. As you can see now, it's going to show, yes, the velocity is roughly 1 meter per second. 